Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I boost the performance of a Windows machine so that you can get the full benefit of using the resources of your computer. So here guys, we only have screen recorder and um, the task manager and we are at 45%, 40, 41, 40, 39. That's almost 50% of the CPU resource that we have. Okay, so let's see what we can do after we do the... Um, optimization or boosting or the performance of our laptop okay so we, we will optimize this one using a very uh, a, a free tool from github uh, whoever made this one we thank them for making things like this and I'm going to share it to you guys so I'll place a link in the description below this is the link um, and then once you're here you go to readme.md just click this one and it's going to give us more of the things that we're going to do so it's open source, it's compatible with Windows 10 and Windows 11. And once you scroll down here, there, these are the things that it can do. So it's going to boost our computer. It's not like, it's not going to add more RAM or processor to you. It's kind of going to help you tweak the settings so that you can have more uh, of the um, performance of your computer that you need to have, okay? So you can read that one if you want to. And then you go here how to use okay so first we need to open a powershell like in this screenshot here i'm just going to go and do powershell and then power and then it will show up here right click then go for run as administrator okay yes then this um powershell will open up the next thing you're going to do is copy this command i'll also place that one in the description so that you can copy that one there if you are not here in this page of github so i'll just copy that and then, then right click and then i'll just go ahead and then press enter and then it should go up there you go this will open up okay this window will open up then the first thing that you can see here are, these are buttons that we have just go ahead and click the things that you want and don't you worry guys because this will create a restore point in case something bad happens here you can always go back and restore the the, the previous settings that you have so what I'm going to do is click on boost because that's what I want. I want to have more of the resources of my computer or my laptop. So let's go ahead and click. That it will create a restore point so that, um, yeah, in case something bad happens, all right? So that window will kind of minimize. This will show up until it's done. And then when it's done tweaking that one, the window will appear back so that we can do other things that we want to do. So it's kind of... Just wait for a few seconds, all right? This is a file, there you go. Oh, yeah! It disabled a lot of things. You can go back at the background. So it means to say that it's open up, you can do other things, but let's go ahead and review what it did. I'll just go back there and click this one. Disabling telemetry, disabling application suggestions. Okay, that's good, that's good. Okay, boost up completed, all right. So what other things that we can do here? You can go ahead and undo if you want. Uh, you can see um, the options. Uh, you can see power options here like dark mode, light mode. Now let's go ahead and go dark mode. I want a faster animation so that it's going to go faster if you are using the computer. Faster animation. And then you can remove MS Store if you want. Let's go ahead and remove because I'm not an MS Store user. I'm not a OneDrive user. I'll just remove that one. And while we are here, you can see that dark mode, operation completed, visual effects for performance, it's also completed, removing Microsoft Store is completed, and then uninstalling OneDrive is completed, all right? And there are other things that you can use here, very useful for other users. You start menu cleanup, yeah, let's go ahead and um, cleaning the start menu, all right, that's cool. Okay, it's done. Yeah, you can see that after you did all these things, you have an option to put it back to reinstall OneDrive, reinstall MS Store. That's very cool. Now, on this other side here, you can disable Cortana with just one click, disable Action Center, disable Windows Search if you want. I use Windows Search, so I'll enable that. Background apps, of course, definitely we're going to disable that. Uh, clipboard history, I do a lot of copy and pasting, so well, for now, I'm just going to enable that. And uh, yeah, you can delete the temporary files, of course. And then once again, you can always create a restore point again, if you want, all right? 
So for the sake of this video, I'm just going to create a restore point. Creating a system restore point. All right, let's just wait for that. All right, it's done. So with all those simple things, just like running PowerShell and then popping up this window where you can just go ahead and click the things that you want, it's very cool, right? So let's go ahead and check out. Um, I hope we have a tremendous change. We, we go ahead and check our usage. Again, we are using this screen recorder. We are at 5-6% usage. That's very big chunk of CPU usage that was kind of um, lowered down, okay? So anyways, guys, I hope you have learned something from this video. I hope this was very useful for you. I hope you're going to try it and see if there are changes of what you, you have there. Let me know in the description below. And if you're not yet subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and see you in my next video, guys.